So do you think Facebook did enough to safeguard the data? I mean, Facebook didn't really do anything to safeguard the data. There were a lot of apps at the time that were pulling lots of data, including from friend networks, and you know, Facebook wasn't um, exactly proactive in asking questions or finding out where that data went. Um, what I do know is that Facebook has known about it since at least 2015, and they got in touch with me in August 2016 um, about, about the data set. It is sort of an existential question for Facebook. Do they want to be a data harvesting company or do they want to be a community of users? And I think that's, that's a really fundamental question that Facebook has to, to ask. Do you think, and then, and then Chris as well, that Facebook has handled this issue well? No. They banned him. You know, Chris can answer to that, but they banned him you know, from Facebook for being a whistleblower. I mean, that's ridiculous. And even like in terms of here, in terms of this country, the way that in terms of in Britain regarding Brexit with me as a whistleblower, it, the, the, it hasn't been, OK, let's listen. It's been shut them down. What I've been asking Facebook consistently day after day after day is why don't we sit down and talk about the vulnerabilities of your system and, you know, work together to figure out ways to improve it um, so that, you know, you as a company can be a good corporate citizen and 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 you know work to improve <laughs> work to improve uh, you know mistakes that were made on all sides, um, but I, I think their 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 reaction as a as a as a company has has been you know to not embrace criticism. Do you think social media data should not be used in political campaigning? Not the way that it has been in the past few years. No, I don't think so. I think it's, it's the, way that, the way that you put more of yourself on the internet than you show in real life. The, your, more of yourself is on the web than you present to other people. And we sort of have this sense of, of, of you know, importance to, that we show and give to someone in a conversation as much as we want to give. You know, that's our decision. But online, you can't do that. Right? And so what gives someone else a right to take all of your identity and sort of decide how to use it against you? Being able to use some form of targeting I think is helpful in politics in the sense that um, me as a campaign better understanding something that impacts you more than others and me addressing that issue with you is sort of a fundamental aspect of, of democracy in the sense that it is a way of me listening to you and a, me, and a way of me engaging you on something that matters to you. But that can be done in a way that respects the consent of the individual and is not done in a way that is manipulative or opaque. Do you think that should be a second referendum? To be honest, I hate the idea. I hate the idea because it, it makes me sound like a Ramona. And like, I don't want to be a Ramona because I'm a proud Brexiteer. But what other option is there that we go ahead with something that was based on cheating? I worked my ass off for vote leave. I worked my ass off to, to win that referendum. And I was proud of winning that referendum until sort of the realizing afterwards that actually I, I was used. If we are making an, an, a permanent, irreversible change to the constitutional settlement of Britain, we need to be confident that this, this is a result that was, was won with the consent of people without the influence of money. The only way that you can be sure that the British people indeed want to do this is a second vote. Because if we have a second vote, all we it may be it may be that Britain reconfirms the first vote, and I think that's fine. I, that is, I have I'd love no, that to happen. I have no problem with that. Reconfirm it. Be absolutely sure. It's an irreversible change to the constitution. We should be crystal clear that this is what people want. And how will you campaign if there's a second referendum? In, in, so I'm a Eurosceptic. I'm 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 still I still am a Eurosceptic. I'll be on the Brexit team, hands down, no doubt about that.
you know, I, 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 this is, again, this is not, this is not about leave or remain. This is about the integrity of our democratic process and, and, and how we sh in my view, should not be permanently changing the constitu the foundational law of this country if there is any shroud of doubt about the legality of the process that was, that was done to do that. Thank you.